Hi there CRV owners. Today in your 2019 Honda CRV, we're going to be taking a look at Thule's Helium 2 hanging bike rack. This bike rack is also available in the 3 hanging bike rack version. One of the things that's really nice about this bike rack is how lightweight it is. It's a solid aluminum construction, which helps keep it extremely light in comparison with many other bike racks, so it's easy to load into your hitch. If you constantly wanted to have a bike rack that you load and unload and store in your garage, this is one of the best options out there. And since it is aluminum, it won't rust. Now you'll see here when our bike rack is installed, we won't be able to open our lift gate. However, Thule has thought of that, and there is a lever located here at the bottom. When you pull this lever, the whole rack assembly will tilt away, giving us full access to the back of our vehicle. We can now get at whatever items we needed without having to remove the entire rack. This bike rack will hold your bikes in place using the cradles located on the top, as well as one on the side here for your vertical shaft. The purpose of the one here on the side is to prevent any movement, so that way you don't have any bike-to-bike -bike contact or bike-to-rack contact. Each cradle is a rubberized surface to prevent any scratches or abrasions on your bike, as well as to help keep it in place. There's grooves located in this for your brake cables, so that way those can sit down in the groove and they won't be scratching up against the frame of your bike either. Your bike is held in place using the cam buckle straps. When you're ready to use it, you simply set your bike in place on the cradles, put your straps over, and pull them nice and tight. When you're ready to take your bike off, simply push in on the lever, pull your cam buckle straps out of the way, and then your bike can be lifted off. If you're not ready to go, hit the trail. To help keep your bike secure to your rack, there is a lock cable that slides out of the middle here, so you can run that through your bikes, keep them nice and secure. Now you also want to keep in mind that having a bike rack on the back does add to the length of your vehicle. It's particularly important to keep that in mind during parking maneuvers and in tight parking lots. From the edge of your bumper to the furthest point, it's going to measure about 35 inches. We can reduce this measurement, however, by pulling up on the lever here at the top and rotating our arms down. We've now only added about 21 inches to the length of our vehicle. Some other measurements to keep in mind is that our closest point is going to be about here at about 10 inches, and the clearance from the ground to the back is going to be here at about 14 inches. This is one of my favorite parts about the rack, how it installs. So it is lightweight, which makes it easy to put in, but another feature that makes it really easy to install into your hitch is that it just slides in and there's a hook here that goes into your hitch pin hole and then you just twist the lever down here and once you've got it nice and tight it spreads apart on the inside keeping it nice and tight in the receiver acting as an anti-rattle. This keeps all the vibrations that you would have back here and helps prevent those from transferring up to your bikes on your bike rack. For further security the knob here does have a lock in it and when locked the wheel will just free spin so that way nobody can just come along and nab your bike rack. Here on our test course we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side to side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. And that completes our look at Thule's Helium 2 Hanging Bike Rack on your 2019 Honda CRV.